Hey everyone, Alice here from Hit Foodie Mom. On the weeknights, I'm all about quick and easy meals for my family. But around the holidays, I like to prepare meals that are a little bit more special. My family and I are huge meat lovers, so today we're headed to Metcalf's to check out their amazing selection of meats. Hi there, anything I can help you with? Hi, I have some family in town for the holidays and I'm looking for something kind of special, maybe a steak. Is there something that you could recommend? Sure, I can come around front and show you some different options that we have. Great, thank you. Okay. One of my favorite options that I'm gonna bring you to is the certified Piedmontese. It is naturally lean, tender, with less fat and fewer calories than your average beef. And it's humanely raised in an open range, so it's a very good option. I've noticed that there's not a whole lot of marbling. I've always learned to look for that when, when selecting steak because marbling kind of means taste. How does that affect the Piedmontese as far as taste goes? The tenderness is different because it's got shorter muscle fibers. You don't really need that marbling to, to make that tender. The cut is just very forgiving. And okay. My dad really loves beef. What, what cut would you recommend? You can never go wrong with the beef tenderloin. Okay, great. May I take two, but can I get them a little bit thinner? Sure, I'll cut some fresh for you. Great, thank you. There you go. Thank you so much, Dan, you've been so helpful. Well, thank you. I'm actually also looking for some local organic options for beef. Can you show me what you guys carry here at Metcalf's? Sure, we have some good options in that category. I'll come right around and show you. We have both organic and grass-fed okay. beef here. They're both from farmer-owned cooperatives, which means they come from family farms in all across Wisconsin. Great. And I noticed that you guys have these signs with the farm name on it, which I think is amazing. What does the 62 mean? Here at Metcalf's, any local food is assigned food miles from the origin of where the food comes from right to the store. That's so great. I love that. All right, we have everything we need. Now it's time to head home and get cooking. All right, we are back from Metcalf's. We picked up these beautiful beef tenderloin fillets. I also have some fresh rosemary, some beef stock and some mushroom stock, some dried mushrooms because we're gonna make a demi-gloss for these steaks. I also have some cremini mushrooms that we're gonna saute and I have bacon. We're gonna wrap the bacon around the fillets, sear them on each side and we're gonna finish them in the oven. It's gonna be fabulous. So first we're gonna start by seasoning our steaks and we're gonna season them on both sides. Now I'm gonna put these aside and we'll work on the demi-glace. The first step is to hydrate these dried mushrooms and to hydrate them, we simply add water. Into our pot, we're gonna add one cup of beef stock, one cup of mushroom stock, a fourth cup of sherry cooking wine. Bring this to a boil, and then once it starts boiling, we're gonna add our hydrated mushrooms in here. While the demi glace is simmering, we're gonna continue on with our steaks. We're gonna wrap a piece of bacon around each beef tenderloin. I have a toothpick that I'm gonna use to secure the bacon. And now we're gonna head over to the stove because we're gonna sear these in a cast iron skillet. The key to cooking steaks using a cast iron skillet is to work with a really hot skillet. So we're gonna turn on the heat on high. We're gonna add some vegetable oil. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit because I want it to get really nice and hot. And then when we add our steaks, we'll hear this really great sizzle. Now it's ready for our steaks. We're gonna let these sear for about three minutes and then we're gonna flip them and sear them for another two minutes. And then we're gonna finish them in the oven. You guys see that sear? That looks incredible. Oh my goodness. So the second side is finished searing and now we're gonna finish these in the oven. 
While the steaks are in the oven, we're gonna prepare these sauteed mushrooms. And we are simply just going to saute these in some olive oil. So we took our steaks out of the oven and now I'm gonna remove them from the skillet. Guys, these look amazing. So delicious. Such a special treat. If you see in here, we have all these lovely brown bits that have so much flavor and we're gonna use this to create a sauce. So, we're gonna add in some Pinot Noir. We're gonna let this go and then we're gonna add some butter and fresh rosemary. We are also gonna add in a couple tablespoons of the demi-gloss and we're gonna add in some fresh sprigs of rosemary as well as three tablespoons of butter. The rosemary is just in to create some flavor and to add some aromatics, but we're gonna remove it later. So our sauce has reduced by half, and now we're gonna add the steaks back in, coat the steaks in this delicious sauce that we made. This looks incredible. The steaks are ready, and now we're gonna plate. Guys, do you see this beautiful dish? I hope you check out this recipe. For this recipe, visit hipfootymom.com. And for hours and locations for Metcalfs, visit shopmetcalfs.com.